so uh, some of the best memories in my life um, all come from this period of time uh, that I remember as the bachelor days. They went like this. I'm six years old, and uh, I'm cruising down the highway uh, in the passenger seat, and in the driver's seat is my best friend and bachelor buddy, my dad. <laughs> and uh, we're moving our lives from Boston to New York. And for the whole four hour drive, we're looking at each other. We have the tape deck turned up and we're singing, Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. Doom, 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 doom. Hard to get by just upon a smile, girl. Go, 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 go. We played that tape, T for the Taylor Man, so much that summer uh, that we actually broke the tape. That was a thing that would happen. Um, and then there was our anthem, Against the Wind. We were running against the wind. We were young and strong and still running against the wind. Yeah, Bob Seger fans. That's it, that's my whole story. Um, and, uh, but that was our anthem. That was the, the soundtrack to the Bachelor years. And our, the place that we were moving uh, on Long Island, our, our house wasn't ready. And because our house wasn't ready, we spent our summer in this little cramped Brooklyn Heights apartment. Um, and in that place, we lived like two 22-year-olds would live. <laughs> we had no cookware. We had like one pan and two mugs out of which we would drink instant soup, like as our meals. We had no furniture except for this inflatable bed that we would share every night. Um, and each night we'd have to blow it up, but we'd have to take turns to make sure no one passed out. We'd be like, your turn, your turn, go, go. Um, and, and the best part was we ate cereal whenever the hell we wanted. <laughs> you want Captain Crunch for dinner, son? Done. Like that was our, that was our life. And like two bros moving into a new apartment would make a point of, surveying the town, the, you know, their, their block for bars, we would cruise our entire neighborhood to draw a mental map of every toy store and comic book store in a 10 mile radius. Because in there was something more valuable than women. Action figures. <laughs> So six-year-old me and my father would burst into these places like two robber barons, like, everybody freeze! <laughs> me and the boy, see, we're looking for the new Green Lantern action figure. Yes, the white one. Yes, the one with the light-up ring. Hand it over, put it in the bag, and we'll be on our way. <laughs> and then he put me on his back, and we'd be gone like that. And that's how I remember that summer. New action figure in hand, on my way to Captain Crunch dinner, <laughs> riding on the back of my father, the two of us. Now it was just the two of us because my mother had just died, just a couple weeks earlier. Diagnosed with lung cancer in December, uh, she made it just far enough to see me turn six. And then the summer began. And when I look back on that time, I'm struck by the dichotomy between what I remember as these golden, wonderful bachelor days and the actual harrowing truth of what was happening. It was just two guys, one of whom who had just lost his mother and one of whom who had just lost his wife. It's like finding an old cassette tape that you made. And you love this thing and you dust it off years later and you realize that there's a B-side on there that you've never even listened to. Against the wind, we were running against the wind. And I realized that our soundtrack was actually my dad's morning songs, or the songs that he used to make sure that he could keep going in the day. And I think about 
must have thought a thousand times about that summer on his back. But just now, as I'm getting older, am I starting to think about the story of the person who was doing the carrying at the time? I wonder if he was scared. I wonder how he knew what to do when everything started falling apart. I wonder where in our little apartment he would go to cry so I couldn't see him. And I wonder how he was able to turn what should have been the most devastating period of my life into something I remember as my best days. Just taking pieces of rubble and making a world for me right on the fly. So now that I'm a real bachelor, drinking far more mug soup than I care to admit, I often wonder what kind of man will I become? Then I realize I already know. <laughs>